Bird would play in the SmackDown arena tonight. And yes, there was a cameraman filming stuff, which means WWE potentially thinking about a documentary or something around the night bird. That would be really cool. That's something I wanted to see with White Rabbit. I want to see how they bring all this stuff together, you know, because this is really fun, isn't it? Like, look at this. This is in France and you can see all the fireflies. You can see all the fans paying attention because Marty Amado Nightbird is playing in the arena. A song, what, four weeks ago we probably never heard in our lives. Now it's like a routine, oh my God moment for a lot of WWE fans, which is really fun. It's really fun how they're able to pull that together. And of course, with the QR codes and how they bring that together is interesting. There was, at the end this time, though, a lot more distortion, a lot more going wrong, a lot more stuff like that happening that you kind of expect it is potentially getting towards the end. This is Things You Might Have Missed, Smackdown special version, because I'm not giving away any spoilers for you guys in America, so it's only about Nightbird and Uncle Howdy. That's right, Smackdown in the UK aired at 6 p.m., and it will air at 1 a.m. UK time in America, which is about 8 p.m. Eastern, their normal time. So they actually are on a massive delay, which kind of really sucks. Obviously, this is a side effect to them doing live events in the international market. But I don't know, man. I hate this because I, I debated whether doing things you might have missed or not. And I decided just to stick with Nightbird stuff because that's not really a spoiler from the show. And luckily for me, we, of course, got a QR code. You can see it here. It's on the entrance of Legado. Now, honestly, could you imagine if they didn't do a QR code? And that's all I was going to talk about tonight. That would have been disastrous. But we got one. And it would take you to this URL, wwe.com forward slash 404. So you think you've got an error. You think you've done the QR code wrong, right? Someone has to have done that. But it does, in fact, take you to a website that does look like the WWE official site, and it is the official site. But just underneath is a new video. Absolutely incredible. He opened his arms. Our pain became his. We were reborn because, and I love this so much, we believed. Now, blink and you miss it. We believed actually changed and became we believed. Oh my God. That was so well done. Hidden in plain sight, something so obvious that when you know about it, You'll go back to that video and you'll never stop seeing it. But until it's pointed out to you, maybe you missed that. And that is insane. Try and tell me this ain't Uncle Howdy or Bo Dallas now. Our pain became his kind of indicates, again, you're talking about multiple people. Why are multiple people in pain? Are we talking about the death of Bray Wyatt? That's the thing that jumps to my mind. And Uncle Howdy potentially being like a rock for a lot of people around that time, maybe. We were reborn. This is interesting as well, because first indication is, could it be that all the people that join Howdy have a complete character overhaul because they're now reborn? There's something new. Or has he just given their life new purpose? Has he given them a reason to care again and to actually want to do whatever they're going to be doing because of what Howdy's taught them? Maybe, because in the last QR code, we had got told, we assumed by Bo, we assumed by Howdy, they were broken, I didn't fix them, I accepted them. So he's let these people in, and these people are now in his debt, and they are working with him, I assume. And we did do a video just last night on the channel, thinking about this approaching its end potentially at Backlash, and obviously we looked at all the people we think are going to be members of this group. Now, Honestly, apart from maybe a few select teases like the cross cave and things like that, there hasn't been a lot of definitive 
things that tell us who this is. And even then, that could all be coincidental. Remember with White Rabbit, we got told about like Alistair Black and stuff, who clearly is not even in WWE. But of course, we have taken our theories and our guesses and compiled them all into one video if you want to check that out. It was uploaded yesterday. But with Because We Believed being a massive focal point of the QR code tonight, even at the end, the Pluto logo sort of taking over it, looking at the source code, the actual video file is named All You Have To Do. Now, if you don't remember it, all you have to do is Bo Leave. The catchphrase of Bo Dallas. Oh, WWE are clever, aren't they? And one of the things we've rambled and rabbited on about for the last few weeks is the fact that before Extreme Rules, White Rabbit would play out. We got told the Friday before Extreme Rules that it was definitively Bray. This definitively tells us it's Bo Dallas. However, what I will say, and note of caution, we believed does not necessarily mean we're getting that version of Bo Dallas back. In the White Rabbit clue, the definitive thing that said this is Bray was Huskus the pig boy. So Bray Wyatt didn't return as Funhouse Bray, although we think that was where it was eventually going to go. That's not what happened at the start. So I still believe that Uncle Howdy is going to be the character that emerges from Nightbird. The now true mystery is who's with him and why. Now, this has been amazing. This last QR code was great. One of the biggest questions now is, is this actually somebody? Is this Alexa Bliss? Is this Nikki Cross? Is this anyone else? Potentially. We thought before it was stock footage, it still might just be stock footage. We'll have to wait and see. But man, this was fun, wasn't it? And that's what I really wanted to make this video all about Nightbird, because this has been a really fun ride. I love the crypticness of WWE. When they do this QR code stuff, it's something extra. And it's all people keep talking about. And with them using an advertising video, obviously for the night before Backlash, but talking about Backlash in France, everyone's assumption is at this point, it's going to happen at Backlash, isn't it? And I think therefore the QR code, the crypticness is going to go away for a while. How they might still use it. They might incorporate it into their characters and I hope they do. But I wanted to thank every single one of you for the support on the channel for the support on social media, if you've tagged me and stuff, if you've sent me your theories, if you're on Discord voice chats and we've been talking this and theorising different things, thank you. Smackdown tonight was fun. No spoilers, obviously, but an 8 out of 10 from me. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button, like and share. I'll be back for Backlash tomorrow, back to normal. See you next time. Peace!